So good evening, everybody. <clears throat> we continue on Perik Nun Bey, the 52nd chapter, which I believe we began this last week. I think this is the second class on this chapter. <clears throat> the chapter begins on page 144. We continue on page Ein Gimel, pretty much in the middle of the page. Again, as we mentioned, Nun Aleph, Dalt Rebbe concludes Lukuti Amorim, which is the first and the center part, the central part of the entire Savior of Tanya, with these three chapters, with it, which, is, which has a exclusive message, it has a separate message on its own. Again, definitely group these, you can group these three chapters together, which becomes, again, the culmination of the entire Tanya. When you, you, when you read the, literally the last page, you can appreciate why the Altareb culminates the whole message of the Tanya with this, that he presents via these three chapters. We're holding in the middle of Nun Beis. You can see the previous class and Perik Nun Aleph, and for that matter, all the previous classes from the beginning of Tanya on the original website, which we've mentioned time and again, namely for the newcomers on tanyaonline.com. Again, it comes up other... Pl- uh, uh, um, you might be watching it on the, um, on the uh, INN, but the original... Uh, you can see it on the original, uh, where it comes up originally, with the, all the, with the access to all the previous classes, that is. Uh, the good thing also with this website, it's built in a way that you can follow the class easily with a text. The text has a separate scroll bar. Again, the present class, the previous, in this, the, uh, previous class on this chapter, and, and Peter Knalf, and again, all the other previous classes, a click away, very easy to find, but again, it comes up in the same fashion like, with the uh, text and it's separately. And the text and a separate scroll bar, so again, easy to follow accordingly. And we continue here, Umawa Levush Yochel Hastir Bisho. What is the Levush, the garment that can conceal and cover? Now, we did read these few lines already in the last week's class. But we're going to begin. Uh, it's a kind of a new beginning. So the Alter Rebbe, I always feel compelled. You know, when we start the class, we got to get everybody into it in a way that we have to take the time to to uh, explain what we learned till now in order to understand. You can't begin a class of Mawal of What is the garment that can conceal this light and it should be bottled when it sees completely in all the meaning? Where are we coming from? So we take the time, but it's 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 really not fair to take the time because it's really a click away. It's a click away to go to the last chapter, uh, beginning of Perikna Beis, or if you want to follow this message, beginning of Perikna Nalif, <coughs> which Al Rebbe begins with this thought uh, that he presents in these three chapters. But a little bit, we always have to. Still not sure. Again, if it's a click away, you can see the end of the class if you're new you're coming in this week, but if uh, you could see, the, you could see what, where does the Ma'al Levush come from, but again, a bit we will definitely take, we can't hold ourselves back to take a little bit, the moment to um, to try to come into this Ma'al Levush, so basically the Altarev explains mm, uh, that the Nefesh, the beginning of an Aleph, a very elaborate example, uh, very detailed, articulate, uh, Articulately explained, articulately explained the way it works that with the nefesh adam, the soul of man as it enters its body, the vivifying, the vitalizing soul, which gives highest energy and, and uh, vitalizes every detail, every organ, every limb, every faculty, every talent, and so on. But the, its entry into the system goes through the brain, as we all know it. Prior to that, it's a core, a strong, powerful core of light. It has just the potential to be to be mechai, in other words, to come to the system and vitalize the entire organism of the body. But nonetheless, before it enters, it has nothing of meichin midai meichin. In other words, you don't can't identify the the particular energies if it's in the intellectual energy or the, the power to see, to hear, to walk, and so on. It's only when it enters into the system then everything develops. It comes in a kaihal apel in a hel melagili from a concealed manner to a revealed manner, a state of potential to a state of actuality, but only, but nonetheless, because it's so powerful, the the, the, the interface between 
the uh, nefesh and the way it's mechay the kuf is the is the brain. Again, we know this as the nerve system. The brain is beyond the vital organ. It's where the nefesh enters, and that because that's the basically the nerve system. Uh, to which, from there, once it settles into the into the mechin, into the brain, then from there, it is it, it continues to give chayis again, not in time, but in idea and concept. It continues to give chayis to all the different limbs. Again, the limbs, the organ, organs, the fa- all faculties. And therefore, it's cru- and it's crucial. Again, it doesn't develop only after it settles in the brain. Again, known to us as a nerve system, and after it begins, kochamamer. So too, Hashem Himself is beyond expression, manifestation. It's He's the way He's for Himself by Himself. The elements don't really exist. Even He's completely removed, as Alter Rebbe's lashon is from Almi Di Galia, just like He's removed from Almi Di Skasi. Conversely, Kimeshu Matzi Shom Kachom Matzi Kan Hashem is. Everywhere, meaning to say that the elemis, he's is beyond being mechaya elemis, beyond being the source or the living, uh, the the, uh, the um, vitalizing the mahava mechayim mechayim, bringing into existence, and being vitalizing and giving the energy all to the, all to these elements because they were just transcendent, similar havdul of the nefesh. But then it enters, Hashem enters into the system again. They have created worlds in Mahava Machai Mekayim. There's no one other independent energy. It's the Abishta's Memalakalam, the Abishta's Sevab Kalam. But dealing now with Memalakalam, that's only when the Abishta Kaviachal enters into the system again. We're, 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 we're recapping this with much brevity. Got us got to appreciate it ad- adequately. Uh, accurately, that is is just you have to go through the previous chapters. But basically, to get to this over here, to this idea that Hashem has to kaviyachol the energy, the, 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 the Hashem enters into the chabad, kaviyachol the brain system, the way it's on high by Hashem. What is it? The chachmina das. That's the teira. The teira becomes the garment through which Hashem ultimately gives chayis to all the elements. If it's atzilus. The Briyat explains that in essence, in every single Eilam, there is the Chacham Binadas of that Eilam. So, by us, it's one system the organ, the, the, uh, the nefesh entering to the brain, to the, the brain, which is the nerve system, and from there, everything receives its chayas. But within a Kodesh Baruch, Hu, there's different structures. Every Eilam has its own structure. Yatzilus is own Briya, and then Yitzira, and then Asiya, and then Asiya, and then Azatachti. So Kodesh Baruch Hu entering into Atzilus and eventually even to Malchus Atzilus, which creates even the Nishamas, in all the Nishamas of Atzilus and so on, whatever it accomplishes. All it accomplishes in Atzilus, but the, it's after the end, so it enters the brain system, which is Hashem's Chacham Minadas, which is ultimately the Taira, becomes that garment to which Kodesh Baruch Hu filters his light through the Elam and establishes and is manifest through the Elam and in Malchus, which again, Malchus is about creating, bringing things into existence, and Atzilus is emanation more than creation, but nonetheless, Malchus is the Kayach, which is Mahav Machayim Mekayim, that's only because, again, just like by man, it went through the Hashem's Chacham Bin Adas. And then al Rebbe says in Bria, there's a new system, which is Chacham Bin Adas of Bria, a new setup, a new setup of ten spheres. So in order that should have Kaviyachal an impact in Bria, and there should be the creation of Nisham and Samalachim and and so on, which is again through Malchus. And by the way, when we say Malchus, usually it's Malchus from Malchus Kalulam, and the Malchus is the Malchus of the subsequent Ayulam, but also in this context, you see the Altar uses the Malchus of the being the impact of that very Ayulam. Not to go to that right now, but a, but just it's worthwhile to mention, not to get confused, but it ought to go through the Chachamina Das of that particular Ayulam, which Altar Rebbe calls it the Hechel Kachi Kachi. Which is the chamber, the shrine of the Holy of Holies of that Eilam, which is the Chacham Minadas, because it has that Kayach to allow the Ein Sof to ultimately be manifest into that very Eilam. And so, too, uh, which is, and more so, not only is the Kayach, is the reason is because it's the nerve system, it's the brain, it's, that's the point of Holy of Holies, just like the brain is beyond the being a vital organ. And so, too, the Kaydish Kadashi of every single Eilam, that's the Chacham Minadas of that Eilam. And so too, when it comes to Eilam Yitzir and Eilam Asiyah, and then Eilam Azatach, and Altar would eventually say that the Eir, the Elokos, in order to have an impact in Eilam Azatach, went through as well the Kedush Kodashim, physical Kedush Kodashim, which was in the Beis HaMikdash. And again, which this is going to be the culminating message to Altar Abba in the Gimel, the 53rd chapter, that through the Kedush Kodashim, in the end of the day, 
everything, that's the way that Kaddish Baruch Hu's connection, so to say, uh, with Elam Hazah. And when we don't have the Kaddish Kaddashim, it's through every person who's learning Torah. He becomes the Kaddish Kaddashim through which which Kaddish Baruch Hu Kaviyachal filters his light. But again, not to jump the gun, we're learning now about the Lavush, the original Lavush, which could conceal this great potent light of Kaddish Baruch Hu, which could be the interface in order that they wish to, because it could, would continue to bring existence into all to all elements starting from El Matzilus. And what is that? That's the Teira and the Mitzvahs, which is the Chacham Midas, Ava Kodesh Baruch that we learned last week. And the reason why it's He Chachamas Chacham Binas, and we can appreciate Teira's Chacham Binas, is because it comes from Hashem Shem's Chacham Binas, starting from the Chacham Binas of Atzilus. Now, just to point out one thing over here, you see the Alter Rebbe, so let, let's see it inside. Maybe we'll just see this first lines inside. And we'll see why the Alter Rebbe adds one point even regarding the Teda. The Teda evolves and ultimately becomes and invests in the physical, which are the 613 mitzvahs of the Teda and so on and so forth. Why does he add that? But let's let's take it step by step. The first thing he says, What is the garment that can conceal uh, and uh, enclose HaKadosh Baruch the Eirin Saf in a way the lays battle the Mitzvahs Ba'ira would not be annulled in that light of Kodesh Like we said before, that we learned last week, Mitzah, the Eivish did himself, nothing could, there's no way that anything could comprehend or tolerate this great iron and stay within existence. And he says, to what a degree would it be bottled? It would be bottled to the degree like Eir Shemesh B'Shemesh. Again, we should not take the, the time, generally we had in Tanya, more than once, but last week as well, you can see that the concept of Bittle to the extent of nothingness as no thing at all, not just become humble, crumble, or anything. It becomes nothing at all, just like the ray of the sun, which is it's in the sun because if it's out of the sun, if you see the ray having its impact out of the ball, the orb of the sun, you understand that it's in the sun as well. But if it's in the, when it's in the sun, there's nothing else other than the orb of the sun. And that completely is the, the ray is, is non non existent entity because of the potency of the sun itself. The ray doesn't have a stand it doesn't stand a chance even to exist. And that would be the bit of the nullification of everything in the face of the air and so. So you need the garment in order to conceal that. And again, that would become the way that Akhaj Baruch Hu would be able is is would be manifest. And again, in the element starting from Atzilus. And then eventually in the Bri again through its own Hechel Kachi Kachi. But let's focus, let's say, one Eilam by one Eilam. Which that's what is the garment? This is the garment, which is the Chacham Binatas. Similar, how the way exists by, by man. That the Nefesh enters into the system via the brain. And, and that is the Taira. That is the Ritzayim Chachmasay. Hamalubashi Mitayim Mitzasay, which is invested in Hashem's holy Taira and his Mitzas Haniglis Lano, which is revealed to us, Lvanenu, to our children, which is again based on Pasik in Taira. Niglis Lano Lvanenu, because they rise in Chachmanav, because Taira comes from Chachmay, Chachmay Law. This is the supreme Chachmad Le'ela Malmadi Zgalia, which is higher from the Almadi Zgalia, the revealed, the manifest worlds or world. The Iu Chak and the Libu Chach Midi, because Hashem's Chachma is beyond that. We know that there's a terminology which we say Pasach Leo Iu Chakim. Hashem is Chachma, but the Libu Chach Midi, not on the known Chachma, the way we can appreciate Chachma. It's far beyond that, as Al Tzadik explains in Shaykh Memuna. Hashem's Chachma, there's no, there's nothing, there's, there's no similarity to our Chachma at all. It's just He is the Shaydish, the source of Chachma, and eventually it evolved the Chachma the way we know it, but. Chakim v'leib chachmidi is way beyond that, and then this is again beyond the chachma. Leib chachmidi is certainly beyond any oilam almidis. Certainly almidis galio. Now, just to point out, what Al Tzeb is going to add over here, and, and, and let's go on. Let's go on with Mishnah's Bala El with the same the same spirit of this message. The Eirin Sod Baruch Hu Mulubish Miyuchah B'Chachmila. The infinite light of Kodesh Baruch Hu is in clothed and. United is one with the supreme Chachma of Akkadj Baruch Hu. For who is Baruch Chachmasi Echod? That Hashem's Chachma is one. So therefore, this becomes the garment and the interface, similar again to the potency and to the delicacy in this, of, of the brain, again, because it is a, a, it is a extremely deep and complicated organ, but again, complicated, de- demonstrating its depth 
which is similar to Hashem's Chochma, similar to the, the, the Torah and the Mitzvahs, which are far beyond the idea of this, uh, the, 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 um, the Almadiz Galio, in this, ca- in this case, or any other when it comes to the Nefesh being manifest in the body. The brain system is extremely complex, sophisticated, deep, to the extent even in modern science, figuring out a lot of the other limbs, the brain is still yet to be comprehended because this is something extremely, extremely deep and again sophisticated. And this is why it becomes the interface, the way the nefesh would accomplish it, have an impact. And the body is first its settlement, it's connecting with this deep and lofty or profound organ, which is the meich and the brain, and so too the when it comes to Hashem, the, the, uh, Hashem would, it manifests through the Chochm Minadas, which is through the Torah. Now the question really is, if the, the Torah is higher than the whole Almidiz Galia Kodesh Baruch being manifest, in that case even higher than in the example the Nefesh. So this is where the Al Rebbe would add, again, in the example, the nefesh. The nefesh is still a nefesh, which is there to vitalize the body. But we say it got to go through the nerve system, which is the brain. And there we can understand it, but if we're talking about a Chokhosh Baruch Hu's Chokhmah, and we say it's even higher than al Galio, so apparently, so if, we, if, if nothing could tolerate the Shechina, the Ein Sof, how could it tolerate the energy of Teira, which is Hashem's Chokhmah, and in the face of Hashem's Chachma, everything should also be bottle. You get the point over here? The question, if you're saying that the whole Chachma, this is the Ein Sof, so we're back to square one. When it comes to the Moshul and the Moshul, in the end of the day, the brain, with all its sophistication, it's part of the organism of the body. So it's a deep dimension within the body and therefore becomes the mediator, so to which the Nefesh would enter into the body. But here you're saying time and again you're dealing with Eivish's Chochmah. So we can understand Chochmah Minadas, the energy would go through the Hashem's Chochmah Minadas. But that's when we say Chochmah Minadas is really a Chochmah Minadas, which is, so to say, Yediyah, and something which, we, which, is, which is attainable, comprehensible. But when we say this Chochmah, is Chochmah Mila Le'elo Le'el Ma'amli Dizgal, you're meaning to say it's transcendent of everything, in, in, in the Lashon over here, it's the labor chachmi idea, not in a chachma which is known, and namely, this is what he says later, that the infinite light of God is one with chachmi law. So, what did you gain? So, what did you gain? In other words, because this chachma, so granted that the chachma of a Kaddish Baruch Hu would be the right keli, because let's call it again, as we use in the, in the marshal, the sophistication of the brain, and here we're talking about something very lofty. That could be the inner, you know, the mediator and the interface between the elokus and elamis. That makes sense, but then when you add to that the chokhmah, leba chokhmah idea, it's not a knowledgeable chokhmah, a chokhmah that we can comprehend, because within that chokhmah you have the oir ein sop, the infinite light of a kosh which is one with chokhmah, Hashem be chokhmah. Oh, then you say, if that's the case, so then now you need a new garment. Because everything should be bottled again in the face of this Chochmah, which is one with the Eid and Sof. And what kind of bittel, a bittel of similar to Eid HaShemesh B'Shemesh again, similar to the light of the sun, the ray of the sun within the sun, that it's completely bottled to the extent that it's, you know, in, in a way of, becomes not, a nothingness. And in other words, it's bittel is a total, absolute bittel. as no thing at all again, so you're starting from square one. So this is why the Al Rebbe says this is something which... Here it's different, or the fact that the Teira ultimately comes down, there's a dichotomy within Teira, that the Teira is associated with Chachmah Baruch But it still has a connection to Eilam, to the lower Eilam, is still invested in this very physical Eilam, it becomes to be in Vodim Gashmim, in the physical, these physical objects which Teira is so associated with. Shnai Mirs and Batalas, you look up in a Mishnah, you see, you're talking about two people holding a talus, one says it's mine, one says mine. This is the way Teda manifest, manifests and evolves itself and he ultimately manifests in this very physical Eilam. If it's from if it's mysis, or the mitzvahs that we do, it's the physical essay, the tefillin, which is the parchment of the animal, and it's, it's, which is the wool, and the and the, 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 the letters and sepitate is physical ink. And the Teda ultimately invested in the physical, and this is where we have that 
the this is why Teddy becomes the 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 the, the mediator, so to say, between the Ein Sof and Elamis, because Teda has this duality to it. In one hand, it's Miyucha Bein and Sof Baruch Hu, the infinite light of Chuch Baruch On the other hand, it evolves and becomes and invests in the in physical items, which is the 613 and mitzvahs of Teda, which is a significant majority of mitzvahs, is dealing with the physicality of Elam Hazar. And this is where it becomes similar, at least a bit in our appreciation, to the way it works by the uh, the human being. If you can say lahavlo, because by the human being also, this is about the sophistication of the brain. The brain, in one hand, the reason why it's the initial keli to which the, the nefesh enters, because it has something very nafshi to, to, to it. It's a very lofty and an abstract type of limb, something which is unusual, no parallel to any other limb, even the vital organs of this of the body. But conversely, it is so it is in the end of the day part of the organism of the body. And therefore it could be that that in mediator, intermediate in order to which or the interface in, in order to which the the nefesh would enter into the body. And this is what the El Terebbe adds. True that the Teira Chachm Binasr Vidaita Shulchan Baruch which is the Teira, is one with the Ein Sof. It's Chakim V'loi B'Chachm Yedia, not something which you could understand and comprehend, or a Chachm that we're used to because it's connected to the Eir Ein Sof, the Infinite Light of Kodesh Baruch which is beyond comprehension. But together with that, the fact that Teira came down and even involved in Varim Gashmi in the physical, so therefore, Teira doesn't need another garment. You don't need to start again because Teda would be that garment because it has this duality. And that's what he adds these words. Yordo Besaysan Madregis. Madregal and Madregi went down into the hiding, so to say, of these levels, from one level to another level, Bishtalshul Salims of the evolving of all elements, actually slap shit varum gashmim, it invested in in the physical, which is a Tayagna Sa Teda for the six with the six hundred and thirteen mitzvahs of the Teda. And again, the reason why the Al-Tarebbe adding this is for the this which we just mentioned. Because if not, again, this garment should overwhelm everything again. But the al says it has this, I, the, the Teira, in the end of the day, um, not, no need to repeat, but again, just to, to in brief, it has this idea of its connection to Elamis, as we know so very well that the Teira precisely deals with the physical, and therefore, in the end of the day, it would be the garment to which HaKadosh Baruch Hu would come down and to be this emanator and ultimately creator and so on. And that's what he, and, 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 and the, and the, the, um, the uh, in that area, again, starting from the Chochem Bin Adas of Atzilus, but then eventually when it comes down to the next Eilam, which has its own structure, it's a separate world with Chochem Bin Adas, and Malchus of Bria, and so to Yitzira. So when it enters, we need to appreciate that the Eid of Atzilus, in comparison to Bria, is similar also to the Nefesh, which is divested of the whole Metzius of the body. The Eid of Atzilus is too po- it's so potent and strong in comparison to Bria, it's kind of, there's nothing which it could even be manifest in Bria without that, also that entry into, so to say, the brain system of Bria, which is again the Heichel Kochi Kochi of Bria, which is the Chochem Bin Adas of Bria. And then it would go and it has its impact on Bria to Malchus, which Malchus is the energy of creation. And um, uh, in this case with Bria would be the creation of the Neshamas and Malachim and so in the Velma Bria. And later he says the Talmud is associated with Bria, but let's see it inside. As it descends from one world to the other, the Shechina also descends in every single Eilo. And the Zewun, where does it start? The starting point is the Hechel Kotchim Kotchim Shemachal Eilam Eilam. The Chamber of Holy of Holies which is in every single Eilam, which is the Chacham Bin Adas of that Eilam. Similar again, the Nefesh entering into the system of the body goes through the nerve system, goes through the brain. So again, by us it's one, but in every Eilam has its own set of Svidits. It's a world on its own, quite frankly. 
And in other words, it's a world on its own, so it's a mitzvah on its own. So the ayah to come into the next world has to go into the through the through the, through the, uh, kachu kachu, the shrine of kachu kachu of that particular island, which is the chacham das of that island. Like it says in Zayir, it's Chaim, Shashchina, Shimachas Atzilus. The Shchina, which is the Malchus Atzilus, Shahibchin is Gilad in Sal Baruch Hu, Vachayis, Shemeda Leilimus, which is the revelation of the infinite light of Akash Baruch Hu, and the vital energy which shines to the Oilimus, to the world of Lachayin, and he cries, Ved Hashem. We're reading the brackets over here, these two love you line. This is the Dvar Hashem, Baruch Piv, the word of Akash Baruch Hu, and the spirit of Hashem is Malchab Yachul. As Dr. Rebbe explains to Shaykh Bemunah, Malchus is. The Kayach, which is Mahava Machai Mekai Malchus Chomachus Kolilavim, similar to speech. Remember, we said there's a whole system within the person, his intellectual faculties, his cognitive faculties, Chachminadad, and his emotions, which is which is his Chesed, Gurti Feres, Netzchit, himself, still within the system of the person. You can emote again without expressing that emotion. It's not the classic way, but the heart could could spike up a certain. A certain feeling to somebody, if it's for with compassion, kindness, severity, discipline, and so on. But then there's the garment which expresses that, and it could express the in, the the intellect of the person as well, starting from the thoughts where he formulates the letters, the manner to which he will express. May it be an intellectual concept, or may it be a feeling, an emotion, which also comes starts formulating again in Isis Hamachshava in letters, but eventually what brings it out to outside the person is his mouth, is his speech, as well as action. But speech is the first point when the person leaves his own system and becomes it, 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 it relates to others. If it's a, it's a master and a pupil, he's relating his wisdom through his speech to the pupil, to the student. And if it's the poor person, which he established this emotion towards the poor person, then he speaks to the poor person, come in, take a piece of bread. He follows suit with action as well. But that's the first step of the person leaving, so to say, his own system and relating to others. So to Malchus is Peh, is the entire Atzilus. Malchus represents the Peh, meaning to say that's the energy, which is Mahav and Mechai and Mechaim, which relates to others, becomes Malchus Cham, Malchus Kalilamim, or even in the creation of that very world, and namely in the subsequent world, Malchus Cham, Malchus Kalilamim, the way it's leaving its domain and relating to, so to say, something else. That's the Dvar Hashem Baruch Piv, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the word of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he says, Kav Yochul, because we, Hashem doesn't talk like we talk, but that's figuratively the Dvar Hashem, the words of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's similar to the way just by man's speech is this which he reveals. It's a kayach, it's a faculty to which with, with the, the human being reveals his hidden thoughts and concealed thoughts to the listeners. It's the transition point from the personal ways for himself and relates to others. Hashem, this Malchus, that's the Tvar Hashem Rapi, which is Mahava Machai Mekayim, which gives life in existence to all the subsequent elements. Or even again within the element itself, Malchus Chom Malchus Kalilami. So that Shechina, when it has to invest in the subsequent Eilam, it's also too potent in comparison to the other Eilam, to the lower Eilam, to the lower world. And therefore, also has to have the mediator, that interface, in order to have an impact on the subsequent and lower world. As we mentioned, that the, even though in that particular world it was already developed, or that it was manifest in that world, that world, but in comparison to the lower, to the inferior world, it's also <coughs> carries, so to say, that potency of that core energy of the nefesh in comparison to the way it would share, so to say, would allocate or share or would give off the particular energies to every faculty, to every limb, to every organ. And therefore it needs that mediate, the intermediate, uh, which is the meichen, which is the brain, and again is the nerve system. And so too, it is too strong and therefore it has to, in order to have an impact on the subsequent elements, also mislabeshes beheichol kochikochim debriya, which is again the chamber of kochikochim debriya. And what is it? That's the chochme minatas debriya. And then, and then eventually you could invest in Malchus de Brio. And Malchus is again the, is the creating force because it went through that interface, which is the Chachm Bin Adas of that particular Eilam. It could eventually enter into the Malchus, becoming the 
uh, the the energizing or creating force, an energizing force, which is and therefore nivra nisham the malachim shibbriya, which are created, it creates the, the souls and the angels, which is mbriya. Which is his malchus the bria, and again you see over here the Alter Rebbe using the malchus not only for the its impact in the subsequent island, but even on that very island. Now we got misham, and here the Alter Rebbe adds misham nifshach talmud shalafoneinu. This from there from elam abria, additional to elam abria being the source for the or the creating force for the nishamas malachim, which are pretty much the main creations in Elam Abriya, but also from there you have the Talmud Shilfanein, which is the Talmud knowing to, to us as the Gemara. What's the connection to the Gemara? And its association with Elam Abriya. Um, so he explains over here, it's going to show the commission's brother, B'Shem Tikkunim, like it says in the name of the Tikkunim, which is part of Zayar as well. Because in Elam Abriya, and this we learned in Pedic Lamites as well, and Mem, that in Elam Abriya, it, is, it shines there, and it is manifest there, the wisdom, understanding, and knowledge of the infinite light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, of Atzilus, naturally in a very much of a contra- an intense, contracted manner, in order the Neshamas and the Malachim, which by definition they are limited and to receive the Ashba from the, this Chacham Bin Adas of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the wisdom, understanding, knowledge of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which we explain there in Lamites and Mem, and that in the, that the, the, the way you know, it was the Chochmah of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which is beyond even comprehension. We explained there the difference of Chochmah Bino, which in essence, Dalton already explains in the very beginning of Tanya, in the third chapter, which again, you can see a click away, and also in Pedic Lamed, Hey, as Dalton explains in the famous Ha'orek HaShashamaiti Mimeri, that the, the, uh, that, that Chochmah, the Eden Sof, does not unite even with Atzilus only through its investment in Chochmah because Chochmah is about Bittel and again represented by the Yud Kei of Kei of Shema by the Yud of the Yud Kei of Shem Hashem that's why the Yud is the smallest because Mi Huz Rab that's the one who's in other words when one is Batl Takosh Baruch Hu that's where he becomes the greatest Keli to Elokus and Chochmo is about Kayachma, Ma being as an expression of total Bittel. As Dr. Rebbe explains, the Pirigimo is the original flash beyond, before, prior to expansion and elaboration, which is again, it's the, the, the Kayach of the core of the Seichel, which is again the flash, but it's because it's before and prior to the to the expansiveness of the concept. It's an Akuda, and Akuda is about Bittel. Again, we're not going to explain it thoroughly get the idea, I'm sure, but you can see it in the previous classes. A click away, these different, different, um, Barakim would deal with it. And again, the, the Kasha Shemaiti Mimeiri in Perik Lamed Hei says it so clearly, because Ein so Baruch Hu's Echad HaEmes, and that is Madrig is HaChochma, because Madrig is HaChochma is Bittel, and that is what is manifest in Elam Atzilus, and therefore Elam Atzilus is called Elam Shikuli Eid, it's completely, there's only light in Atzilus, Atzilus Lee Gur Chara, even a subtle Ra, and a subtle Mitzis, and subtle Yeshes, it's all about the total manifestation of Elokus, and total manifestation of Elokus, the infinite, you know, there was the expression of the infinite light of Elokus, but nothing could tolerate or handle, nor the Nishamis, nor the Malachim, of El Mabriya. But yet, and, 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 and therefore, the Yud of Hashem, the way it's, even though here I believe he says, Chochmah Bina Das, but nonetheless, Chochmah Sabini Dab Bina Sabidaiti, but the main Chochmah, the core of the Chochmah, of the that belongs to Atzilus. Because again, a Chochmah is about Bittel, which is again the Keli to the Eidin Sof, to the infinite light of Akos Brocha, that's the world of Atzilus. Lo Yugur Chara. Bria is the beginning of Aschalos Ayesh, but again, not Chas V'Shalom, anything Ra, but the subtle Yesh is already the antithesis of Hashem Echad, one way or another. That's why there's the big gap between Choch, between Atzilus and Bria Tziyasiya. It's not just another Eilam, it's a total new phenomenon. But yet, do we, what, what do we know about a Bria? The Bria, for example, it says the Ganeidin HaElyon is in Bria. The supreme Ganeidin, with as many levels of Ganeidin as we know, but generally they're divided Ganeidin HaTachtin, which is an Elam HaYitzir, and Ganeidin HaElyon is Elam HaBriya. Ganeidin HaElyon, that's a, 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 a bleak vuk, one way or another experience of, of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. And Hashem's Bina Das, now there's a, 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 
thorough comprehension and the greatness and the reality of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to the extent of a delight and pleasure which Nishamas and even Malachim experience. Lashon al in Shira Shirim Kuritayr, it's Bligvul, it's Bligvul, delight and Bligvul presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu Mabriya. But yet, you don't have the Chochma, you don't have the total experience of Atzilus in Bria, because then a Bria would be bottled by Metzius, it wouldn't be a Metzius of a Nishamis, Yesh, Vim, Vim, and we spoke about this a few times, there, Yesh, Vim, this sitting, doesn't mean physical naturally, but there is Nishamis, is a Metzius, Yesh, Vim, and Nani, Meziv, Hashchina, they have a no, from the ray of the Shechina, that doesn't exist when you have the total manifestation of the infinite light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which is the experience of Atzilus. But yet, conversely, and, there, and, and it's Bria, it's a creation. You have Nisham, it's Malachim, Ganeiden, it's, it's, it's Ganeiden, it's a world also, a Metzius Kaviyochel. Not a Metzius that we, we know that really, Metzius Yesh, so we know the way it is in El Mazeb, but the idea is that it exists. The is is, so to say, antithetical to Elikos. Even the is is the antithesis of the total manifestation of Hashem Echot. And that's Briyo. But nonetheless, conversely, we say they do appreciate Hashem's, they have a comprehensive understanding of the greatness of Hashem Baruch, the Nisham and Malachi, which is again the idea of Ganeiden. It's an appreciation, not only a delight, delight based on a comprehensive understanding and appreciation in the So, So this is the dichotomy. On one hand, it's Elam Briyo, which Elam Briyo has, a, it's about the understanding, appreciation of the Lukus. With that says the Chochmah bin Vadas, of the Ein Baruch who is invested in Bria, and that's the way they're able and intellectualize and appreciate and comprehend the Lukus. But nonetheless, we must say it's not the Chach Min the way it is in Atzilus, because there you have the Ein Baruch Hu. One way or another, Atzilus is Lashon Etzli Besamuchle. It's a island which is completely one with Hakadosh Baruch Hu, and therefore the Chach Min the way it comes into Bria through its simtzamotzim, through through great contraction, in order that the Neshamas and Malachim, which by definition are created beings, created entities, and therefore as such they're Bali Gvul V'Tachlus. To in other words, they're limited one way or another. They could be Mekavel the Hashpa B'Chinas Chabad Elu. They could receive this Hashpa from this Chacham Bin these Chacham Min now, what's the connection to Talmud? Because that's what Talmud is all about. Let's go back a little bit. So the Yud of the Yud Kevavke remains in, in Atzilus. The Bina Das, which is the Hey, Bina is about expansion of wisdom. That becomes manifest in Elam Abriya. The Vav, which is the same Shem's six Midas, becomes manifest in Elam Yitzira. And the Hey in Elam Asiya. And he explains over here that this, this is the connection where the Talmud is associated with Elam Abriya. And then he's going to say the Mishnah, for example, is associated with Elam Yitzira because the whole point is of the Mishnah. What's the whole point of the Mishnah? The whole point of the Mishnah is, tells us the Halachas. The Halachas. To be lenient or strict. Potter, Osir, Zakai, Chayov. And in Tomei, Toir, this is all based on the Midas of HaKadosh Baruch as we said a number of times, we spoke about this in the past as well, based Hillel, because his Shedish and Neshama was more from Chesed, namely from Chesed, therefore he was Mekel. Beis Shammai was a, their Shedish, the source of their soul, the source and root of their soul, was Gvura, so they were more Machmir. But again, it was predicated on the rules of Teda, naturally, even though with Allah it becomes like one, and we pass in general like Beis Hillel, But what do we see from all this? The, the, when you learn simply Mishnayis, which speaks about halachas psukis, established halachas, we understand that this is connected with the midas of a baruch Hu, The whole reason why it's lahakil, if it's lenient or strict, or something in between, let's say, it's because it has a, it's associated with Hashem's midas, chesed gvura tiferes netzach haydisay malchus. And he says, that's why Mishnah is connected to Elam HaYetzirah. You have these halachas psukis, which again is associated with the Midas of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. While Talmud is already the thought, the svaris, the, the logic behind these piskei dinim which are brought in the Mishnah. As we see, the Mishnah is very brief, says the halachas, and then you have pages of the Talmud explaining this very Mishnah. Explanation is... Again, understanding of a matter and understanding doesn't come out of nowhere. It, it is rooted in 
of, on high, which is the Chochmah Bina V'Kodesh Baruch Hu, and then that's the Chochmah Bina V'Das V'Kodesh Baruch Hu, which is invested in the Priya. O Misham HaTalmud L'Fanenu. The Talmud, which is again the the wisdom, the understanding of the matters of Teira, this is this comes from Elam Abriya because Elam Abriya is about the Chochma Binos, the Vedaita of the infinite light of Hakadosh Baruch But yet, the way it comes to it seems some ultimate great contraction, and we can all appreciate that. Even the Talmud, the fact that we can understand it, shows that it's not the way the Chochma Bina Vedas of the Ein Sof, the infinite light of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, it's not because then there's no comprehension. And in the world of Atzilus, because that you, the Chochmah, is the energy and the and the driving force of the entire Atzilus, everything about Atzilus is Belik Vul. Even the Binos, Vulay, Bevina, Yediyah, and the Das, by definition, because the Chochmah is the energy and the driving force and the spirit of the entire Atzilus. So the fact that we can understand a Halacha, comprehend an Halacha, appreciate an Halacha, it also goes through that Simtsum Otsum, that great contraction. Which again, the first experience of that great contraction, or the Chabad with his great contraction, resides primarily in El Mabriya. Therefore, Misham Atalmud Shulafanenu. And let's see, in Tzavi Lachay Nimshach, Misham Atalmud, from there comes the Talmud. Shugam Kim Chinis Chabad, it's also Chabad, Chachamin Adas, Atalmud Taimi Halachas Alborin. It's the reasoning, the rationale of these Halachas Alborin, which means thoroughly. And the timing, when we say reason, the rationale is something that's Chabad, that's the Chochm Binadas, understanding, comprehending the matters. Then you have the Allah's Atzma and the Allah's themselves, that comes from Midai Sabshallah Kodesh Baruch, like we just explained. Shein Chesedin Rachamim, which is kindness, severity, and compassion. Chulu, and he goes through all the other Midas, which Allah's Psukas are associated, even though predominantly through Chesed and Gvura, which we can see evidently in these. In halachas, it's mutter or aser. Mutter is because, based as 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 uh, comes from the chesed of Hakadosh Baruch that there's a way to elevate it, to sublimate that, and therefore becomes mutter. Via when we say it's aser, it's associated with gvuro. You want to distant it, which is again the midas of gvuro, but rachamim, compassion, and all the other midas are ultimately connected to the expression, the manifestation of these mid of these halachas. Shemihenum Shah Hetterva Isurva Koshirva Pasilakiva Ptur. From the Midas of a Kajbarh as we could all understand again as we just explained, comes this which is permitted and prohibited. Again that we chesin gvura. Kosher, it's possible, qualified or disqualified. Chiv Ptur obligated, exempt. Mishkas Bitikunim, this comes from the Midas of a Kajbarh. So the Talmud Associated with El Mabriya. Chabad of Atsilus through a great symptom, through a great contraction, but that's connection connected to El Mabriya. And then you have the, the uh, as we're going to learn, Bez Hashem, then this very energy of El Mabriya would enter into El Mabriya, which is a world on its own, and also again has to go through the Chabad, the Chacham Bin Adas of El Mabriya, or of El Mabriya, excuse me, in order to be manifest in El Mabriya, and to create the Neshamas Malachim of El Mabriya, ultimately Gadi Natachtin, as we just, explained, as we just noted, and eventually, as he's going to say, the Mishnayis, these Halachis, Psuchis, these established Halachis, without any reason, come from El Mabriya, because El Mabriya is where the Midas of HaKadosh Baruch right? He said, the Yod remains in Atzilus, the Hay, which is being in Das, Namely, Bina, but as well, Das in El Mabriya. And El Mabriya houses again the Hey, the Bina Das of Akadish Baruch. The six Midas, which is the Vav, Yud Ke Vav, also that's the reason why the Vav, the numerical value of Vav is six, which is the six Midas of Akadish Baruch, is housed in Babaya El Mayitzira. And it's manifest in El Mayitzira. And then the Hey in El Masir. And therefore, the six Midas of Akadish Baruch becomes the source. Of the Mishnayis Shelefonein, the Mishnayis that we have, which are halachas psukis, beyond reason, or the reason is not there when you learn the Mishnah. You just learn this is mutter, pasul, kosher, osur, chayiv, and potter, which is again chesed, gvura, tiferes, at the end of the day, all the other mitzvahs, which establish, and the reason of why this halacha is paskin in that manner. But that's only when the that's only when it goes through again the Chach Minatas of that particular world. And then he's gonna go on to Masiyah, and then he's gonna go on 
to the which is the spiritual elamasia, and eventually in Pinnacle and Gimli is going to go on the way the the elokus is manifest down here in this world also through the actual physical shrine of Kedusha Kadosh. And the luchas, in the first bias, in the second bias, and now we don't have the base on she's through it, learning in Torah, but again, let's, we'll best Hashem get to there. <clears throat> and we're going to start again from this, where the, uh, the, atz, the Yitzira, again, where we left off over here. Uh, I just want to add one more thing over here, a note that the Rebbe points out, what does it mean, Misham Nim Talmud Neinu? Apparently, and we say it comes from El Mabriya, we say time and again, even in this very chapter, that Teira is Chachmasseh Yitzayin Yishal HaKadosh Baruch Hu Chacham Bin Adas, and then Ruiz Baruch Yichacham Chachmasseh Echod, it's one, and therefore we're, da- we're talking about the Chacham HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Chakim Belei B'Chacham which is the spirit of Atzilus, and we're talking about the Chacham of Atzilus, and all along we know that Teira is the Eden Sof, which is in Chachma. So all of a sudden he says in Misham, What's that supposed to mean? Or is someone going to suggest, oh, that's the Talmud. If you learn a Pasuk and Chumash, maybe you're connected to Chachma. If you learn Talmud, it's already a step leveler. No, we know that every part of Teda a person learns is connected to Chachma. And if you see in Perik Hei, and Perik Chod Gimel, and Perik Lamed Zayin, and Tanya Adal Terebbe, speaks about the superiority of Teda even over mitzvahs, because this is the core energy of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Anechi Hashem Alikech, of the Abish that placed himself in Teda, the core of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And all of a sudden you're saying, Misham from Bria. So the Rebbe points out, that's the point of a Talmud Shel Lefoneinu. And you find this also in Kuntris Achrin, uh, towards, uh, towards the end of Kuntris Achrin, there's no prokim there. There's no numbers of prokim. The Rebbe says this is a similar idea that there is the, the Talmud itself and there's the Talmud Shilofanenu because we're dealing with it, we're learning it, we're trying to understand it and comprehend compre- and, and have kind of comprehension in this Talmud that we're learning. So, therefore, it already connects with a certain confinement or a certain limitation because we are limited. Uh, a li- limited uh, human beings as part of Hashem's creation. So therefore, there is something of the Chabad of Bria, which is really associated with the study of, uh, in other words, not the study itself, not the information. The information will always remain but the Talmud Shalafan, you know, our studying it, it is already associated with El Mabriya, similar to the Chab, like we said over here, the Neshama is Malachim of El Mabriya, Appreciate the Chochem Bina Vidash al Baruch Hu, but it needs to go through the Tzimtzum Otsum, the great contraction, an intense contraction, as he says. In order that a finite being, which in this case is the Nisham, is the they're finite, they should be able to comprehend and appreciate and derive pleasure from. Again, when you derive pleasure from, it means it's not the Ain Sub, because if it's the Ain Sub itself, we mentioned this in the past, it's just overwhelming. Nothing could exist in the face of the Ain Sub. No pleasures, no appreciations, no delights, it's nothing. It's just a matter of complete consumption and incorporation into the energy of the Ain Sof. So the fact that he says it regarding the Shams of Malachim, which are divested of body, that in order for them to appreciate the Chabad of Atzilus, it has to go through the great contraction. So understanding when we speak about the Talmud Shalafon our learning, it already has to go through this again contraction one way or another and there and as such thus its association with Elam Abriya even though the Teira itself every part of Teira if it's a mission if it's Talmud Shulchan Aruch Tanya any part of which is real truly Teira in the end of the day is part of the Chachmasei Asher L'Kodesh Baruch Hu the Chachma the core Chachma the Chachma Atzilus of HaKodesh Baruch Hu B'chavayi Deva Atzmei have a wonderful night